Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Brandon. And in this video, I want to show you how I use Marmalade for Etsy. It's one of the first things that I do for my SEO keyword research strategy. And I'll show you how I do it step by step. And if you're interested in learning more about selling on Etsy and making money online, make sure to hit that subscribe button and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. But let's get to it. So in case you don't know what Marmalade is, essentially it's an SEO keyword researching tool. I've been using this almost daily since I have multiple Etsy shops and every category has different data. And it's a great place to figure out the search volume, the engagement, the competition. And I think a lot of people don't really do this kind of research. So if you learn how to use Marmalade or other apps like this, like E-Rank, you'll be ahead of the game. So there's a lot of other videos that will show you exactly how to use all these different tools, but I want to make it short and show you the, my most favorite tool within Marmalade, which is the storm feature. What this feature does is that you type in a keyword and then they'll generate a bunch of other keywords that are relevant to when you're doing it. And then from there, you can select which one you want to use. So for this example, I will use planner because it's something that someone commented in the video asking me if the category planners are good and what keywords they should use. So I figured I would just take this opportunity and make this into a video. So I would just put in planner here and let's see what comes up. All right, so I search planner and from here, you would just click here which will bring it to your bucket. And every time you click on something, it will generate new ones for you to, to choose. So let's go ahead and quickly pick the ones we want to use uh, just to kind of storm some ideas. And like I said, this is something that I do before I even create anything, right? I wanna make sure what I'm creating is gonna, it's gonna sell, right? Or there's demand. So right here, you see all the different searches, the search volume, the engagement, and the competition. The engagement is important, but for, uh, two most important ones are just how much supply and demand here, right? So, well, we're going to look for some things that are all green, which is perfect, but you want to make sure the search volume is high enough. So academic planner is decent. So we're going to add that in, but I want to find search volumes that are higher than just 300 searches a month. ADHD plan. Okay. So let's see. Okay. 400, not bad, but even things like this, right? You can always, it's still a good category to, to create listings for it, right? but let's see what else we can find. Student planner, 700 searches, not bad. As you can see, sometimes it'll populate other ones that are not in your category, like invoice templates. Also invoice templates, if you guys are interested in this one, this is a good category. It's different than planners, but this one is a good one as well. Teacher planner, maybe weekly planner. So now Marmalade will curate other keywords that are more suited for us based on what we collected, right? Based on what we put in the bucket. So fitness planner, all green. Habit tracker, thousand searches. Okay, not bad. Slightly higher competition, but still, it's still a good one to, to tap into. Weight loss tracker, a little bit less searches, but let's add it in. So like I said, this is what I do just to get a good idea on a certain category if I want to tap into it. So, and in my next video, I'll try to show you what I do with the collected titles or the collected keywords and how we can use that practically into your listings. Business planner, travel planner, so things like this, right? If you think about travel planner during this time, not many people will be collecting this. So the search volume is probably lower than what it would normally be. So maybe it's something that you want to get into now so you can prep your store for a lot of different traveling related things. So when things do pick back up, maybe this, you know, category would be good. So something to think about things like this teacher planner 2019, obviously we're at 2022 now, uh, we can still use this, but just change this to the new year, right? So we're going to add this in workout planner seems to be a good one. Financial planner. Not bad. Let's add that in. All right. So now that we added a bunch of these different keywords into our bucket, we can save this and it'll actually save it into your storm here. So you can always come back to it and, and revisit it if you want to do it or create more storm list, right? But from here, social media planner, there's some good search volume, low competition. So maybe I will do more of this listing, right? Maybe I create a few listings for this category, maybe less for academic, just because there's less search volumes and just as much as competition. Cause if see, look at this, there's over 10, or over 9,000 competition here. There's less competition on the social media planners, but the search volume, it's like three times as much as the academic one, right? So which one am I going to create more listings for? I'll probably create more for social media. Right. Cause the whole supply and demand situation, right. There's, there's more supply. I mean, more, more demand for this social media planner. 
and less supply. So it's just better for our return on investment if we create listings for this. So that's why, so just a quick summary for Marmalade Storm. This is such a great feature that I always use for all my categories. And in the future videos, I will show you how I would use this to list out my actual titles. So if you're interested in trying out Marmalade, I do have a 14 day free trial you can try out and you can do all your researching within those two weeks. You save all the keywords you want to use, export them outside of Marmalade, put them into Google Docs or into your notes. So now you have an idea of what you want to use and you don't have to always do this all the time, right? You can revisit it every couple months as trends evolve, right? But I recommend taking that two weeks just to get all your researching done and then you can leave and don't have to pay for the service. So check it out if you're interested. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment any questions you have. So take care.